Please subscribe, follow and like engineeringall.com. Internal combustion engines are the beating heart of modern transportation, powering vehicles across the globe. Two prominent fuel options for these engines are petrol, gasoline, and compressed natural gas, CNG. Let's delve deeper into these fuels, exploring their composition, combustion processes, advantages, and applications. Petrol engine. Petrol engines have long been the backbone of automotive power. Derived from crude oil, petrol is a liquid fuel that has fueled the mobility revolution for decades. The combustion process in a petrol engine is a choreographed sequence of events that begins with the intake stroke. During this phase, a mixture of air and petrol is drawn into the combustion chamber. Following the intake stroke, the compression stroke begins. The piston compresses the air-fuel mixture, increasing its pressure and temperature. Just before the piston reaches the top of its compression stroke, a spark plug ignites the mixture, initiating a controlled explosion. This explosion rapidly expands the gases, driving the piston down and generating mechanical energy. This energy is then transferred to the wheels through the vehicle's transmission, providing the power needed for acceleration and movement. Petrol engines are known for their responsiveness, making them ideal for vehicles that require quick acceleration. They offer a high energy density, meaning that a relatively small amount of fuel can produce a significant amount of energy. However, the combustion of petrol releases pollutants such as carbon dioxide, CO2, and nitrogen oxides, NOx, contributing to air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. CNG Engine Compressed natural gas, CNG, has gained prominence as an eco-friendly alternative to petrol. Composed primarily of methane, CNG is a gaseous fuel that is extracted from natural gas reservoirs. Its lower carbon content compared to petrol contributes to reduced CO2 emissions when burned, making it an environmentally conscious option. In a CNG engine, the combustion process is somewhat similar to that of a petrol engine, but with some distinct differences. Instead of mixing air and fuel before entering the combustion chamber, CNG is compressed to a high pressure, typically 3,000 to 3,600 psi, and injected into the chamber as a highly concentrated gas. The air and CNG mixture is then compressed by the piston, and ignition occurs when the mixture reaches its auto-ignition temperature. The combustion of CNG produces fewer pollutants than petrol, with significantly lower emissions of CO2, NOx, and particulate matter. This makes CNG a cleaner burning fuel, and a popular choice for reducing the carbon footprint of vehicles. Advantages of CNG Environmental Impact CNG is renowned for its lower emissions of greenhouse gases and pollutants. Its combustion produces fewer CO2 emissions, making it a more environmentally friendly choice. Cost effectiveness, CNG is often more affordable than petrol, resulting in cost savings for vehicle owners over time. Domestic production, many countries have access to natural gas reserves, reducing dependence on imported petroleum products. Reduced engine wear, CNG burns cleaner than petrol, resulting in less engine wear and potentially longer engine life. Choosing between petrol and CNG, the choice between a petrol engine and a CNG engine depends on several factors. Availability, CNG infrastructure, may not be as widespread as petrol stations in some regions, affecting the feasibility of using CNG. Vehicle compatibility. Not all vehicles can be converted to CNG, and not all are manufactured to run on CNG from the start. Emissions regulations, stringent emissions regulations in some areas may encourage the use of CNG due to its lower emissions profile. Driving patterns, CNG vehicles are often more cost effective for vehicles that cover significant distances regularly. Environmental considerations, those who prioritize reducing their carbon footprint, may opt for CNG due to its cleaner emissions. Both petrol and CNG offer distinct advantages and considerations. Petrol engines provide power and responsiveness, but come with higher emissions. 
CNG engines, on the other hand, are more environmentally friendly and cost-effective in the long run. Ultimately, the choice between these two fuels depends on individual preferences, vehicle compatibility, and the broader environmental impact. As technology continues to advance, we can look forward to further innovations in both petrol and CNG engines, contributing to a more sustainable future for transportation. Converting a petrol engine to compressed natural gas, CNG, is a popular choice for individuals looking to reduce fuel costs, lower emissions, and contribute to a more sustainable environment. This comprehensive guide will walk you through the step-by-step -step process of converting your petrol engine to CNG, ensuring a smooth transition while maintaining engine performance and efficiency. Section 1, Understanding CNG Conversion Before diving into the conversion process, it's essential to understand the benefits of CNG and why you might consider making the switch. Compressed natural gas is a cleaner burning alternative fuel that emits fewer pollutants compared to traditional petrol. It's also cost effective, as CNG is generally less expensive than petrol. Section 2. Assessing Vehicle Compatibility Not all vehicles are suitable for CNG conversion. It's crucial to ensure that your vehicle's engine, fuel system, and components can handle the transition. Consult your vehicle's manufacturer, owner's manual, or a certified mechanic to determine if your vehicle is compatible with CNG conversion. Section 3. Choosing a Conversion Kit Selecting the right conversion kit is a critical step. There are two main types of CNG conversion kits, sequential injection systems and mixer systems. Sequential injection systems are more advanced and provide better performance, while mixer systems are simpler but may result in slightly lower efficiency. Section 4. Preparing for Conversion Before starting the conversion process, you need to gather the necessary tools and equipment. You'll also want to have a clear understanding of your vehicle's existing fuel system and layout. Section 5. Step-by-step -step Conversion Process 1. Drain the fuel system. Begin by draining the petrol from the fuel tank and disconnecting the fuel lines to ensure a clean slate for the CNG conversion 2. Install the CNG tank. Mount the CNG tank securely in your vehicle. The tank should be placed in a well-ventilated area, following safety guidelines to prevent leaks, and secure it from potential impacts 3. Modify the engine. Install the CNG conversion kit components, such as the pressure regulator and injectors, into the engine. Depending on the type of kit, you'll need to modify the air intake system and install the CNG injectors into the engine's intake manifold 4. Connect wiring and electronics. Wiring and electronic connections are crucial for the conversion to function smoothly. Connect the wiring harness, pressure sensors, and other electronic components to ensure proper communication between the CNG system and the vehicle's engine control unit, EC. Thank you for watching. Please hit the red button to subscribe for more videos.